Hey gamers, Maniac here with a useful how-to video. A um, couple of things. You guys may be wanting to choose to use your Nintendo Joy-Cons as independent controllers. Um, as you can see here, this is a setup where I actually have the Joy-Cons connected directly to the tablet in tablet mode. But let's say, for example, you want to use Joy-Cons as Wiimotes, essentially. You certainly can do that. The only thing is, is that you're going to need to connect this to a wrist strap device. Now, thankfully, Nintendo actually does include wrist strap devices both with the Nintendo Switch console and with, uh, as you can see, I bought a bundle here, so it actually came with uh, two of these to go with the controllers if I wanted to use them independently. Now, everybody, it seems at first, orients these things incorrectly. I don't know why, um, but it, it just seems like, because there are a couple of tells here, but if you do this incorrectly, you can severely break your controller, you can break your switch, you can break this, and these controllers aren't cheap. A set of these controllers cost $80 US. If you break them, you're on the hook for them. So uh, basically I have to make into account one thing. While all of these uh, straps are the same, uh, which you can see, it doesn't matter, you know, you can see that these are the same. These controllers are different, which is why I'm actually preferring to get my controllers all of different colors for that reason. I know that the Nintendo Switch comes with controllers that are the same color and you can buy controllers of the same color if you want but it, for me it's just easier to have controllers of different colors so I know specifically what side goes where. As you can see here the easiest way to tell what direction your controller is is you notice that there's a symbol on the top of the controller. In this case it's a plus and in this case it's a minus. You can also notice where the orientation of the bumper is. So if it's a plus it has to be a right controller. If it has a minus it has to be a left controller. Now what you do is you look on the, on the uh, pad and you specifically look at, well, which way is this oriented? Is this oriented to the plus or the minus? As you can see here, we can orient this one to the plus. So if I put it in this way, then I can actually pair it up in this orientation with the right controller. Now, important thing to remember is, is that there's a little locking mechanism right here. I'm gonna try to focus on it. You see this little thing next to the strap? If it's pushed inward like this, as you can see, inward, yeah, I'm trying to focus on it. If you push the strap inwards, I don't know why it's not focusing, um, this is locked. I cannot remove this from a controller, nor can I add this to controller in this orientation. If I'm going to manipulate this, I have to push outwards until it snaps, and then you can see it's a little bit looser now. Now I can actually connect it to the controller. What you do is you simply take this sorry about this guys you can see how there's a little slide mechanism here and we're just gonna slowly and very carefully slide this downwards onto the controller until it clicks you hear it click and you push that in and it's locked You see, you got the plus lined up at the plus, and now this controller can be used independently for a game like Super Mario Odyssey.